بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم The best of provisions, the best of supplies that you are going to be taking to the next world is your taqwa. Which is exactly why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad has said إِذَا مَاتَ إِبْنُ آدَمْ If a human being dies, إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا ثَلَاثِ Their deeds, their acts of worship, their practices will cease to exist, will stop, except for three things. إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا ثَلَاثِ Number one is, عِلْمٌ يُنْتَفَعُ بِهِ Knowledge that others will benefit from. For example, you've left this world, but you've printed a book, you've written an article, you've shared a hadith, you have educated someone, you have taught someone, Others are going to be benefiting from that. Ilmun yuntafa'u bi continuously. Just imagine the reward that Al Allama Al Majlisi has with his Biharul Anwar. Just the imagine the um, the reward that Sheikh Al Saduq, for example, has. Sheikh Al Mufid has. Sheikh Al Tusi has. Allama Al Hilli has. All of our ulama, whoever they may be and us still benefiting from those books. And by the way, I'm sure you know that many of our ulama in those eras did not live long lives as well because of all the illnesses and things like that. They saw their life to not be something to be valued horizontally, but vertically. Vertically in the sense that you're not going to be looking at how long you live, but how much you're going to be producing and delivering. You could live a long life and be absolutely useless. Ilmun yuntafa'u bi. Number two is sadaqa jariya. Sadaqa jariya is different to sadaqa. Sadaqa jariya is not you just feeding someone, but you building a kitchen for other people to come and cook and feed other people. Not you just quenching someone's thirst, but you digging a well for other people to come. Not you just paying for niyaz, for example, but purchasing this microphone. As long as this microphone exists, the reward of any ayah, any hadith, any dhikr Allah or Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam, its reward goes back to you. That's called Sadaqa Jariyah. And the third is وَوَلَدٌ بَارٌ يَدْعُوا لَهُ A righteous child that will pray for them. How many people do we know who, has, who have passed and their children have absolutely no consideration of where they are or who they are? This is why in our ahadith it says you can be a bar, you can be loyal to your parents while they are alive, and you can be aq to your parents. You can be unfaithful to your parents when they die. How can this happen? When they're alive, you remember them. Once they die, you have no memory of them. You don't remember them in your fatihas, in your visiting of their grave, in your majalis, in